Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news of rising concern over Australian mortgage stress. But first in the US, factory activity is still growing there, but the rate of growth slowed in April with weaker expansion of output and new orders. Another survey showed input prices rising at their fastest pace since September 2014. Meanwhile, while consumer spending was unchanged in March and a key inflation measure recorded its first monthly drop since 2001. The US Fed is meeting this week to assess its policy rates and some analysts expect it to raise the rate by 25 basis points on Thursday our time. But that is not the consensus, which is still for a no change this meeting. Bloomberg is reporting that President Trump is actively considering breaking up the big Wall Street banks and he is also considering raising taxes on petrol. The President failed to get any funds for his border wall, and renegotiating NAFTA may prove quite different than his rhetoric. In fact, Mexico is suggesting they use the TPP as a basis for a renegotiated trade deal. The Trump concerns over China may just put that deal back on the table. In Japan, factories are expanding faster, especially from new export orders, but price pressures are showing up here as well. In Australia, a new report says household financial stress is reaching worrying levels, and regulators are taking notice of this survey. Affluent suburban areas feature amongst the estimated 1,000 households a week expected to face mortgage default over the next 12 months. This is what the analysis reveals. Debt stress momentum is unprecedented, according to research firm Digital Finance Analytics, who have been doing this survey for more than 15 years. The number of borrowers in severe distress has increased by about one-third to 32,000 in the past 12 months, they say. One in four households are said to be facing financial distress, and this follows the March warning by the RBA about increasing family vulnerability caused by soaring property prices, particularly in Melbourne and Sydney. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield is up today and now at 2.32%. Oil prices are still slipping lower and are now just under $49 for the US benchmark, while the Brent benchmark is now just over $51.50 a barrel. The gold price is also down, slipping by $10 today to $1,256 an ounce. And the New Zealand dollar will open a little higher at 69.1 US cents. On the cross rates, the Kiwi is at 91.7 Aussie cents and against the Euro, 63.4 Euro cents. The TWI is at 73.8. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.